Hello everyone and welcome back to another, possibly our final episode of James Plays Final Fantasy so you don't have to. Uh, last time we jumped on a Wervin that we summoned through a mirror somehow um, and uh, went into the center of a giant tornado because that's where the Emperor was hiding his secret base and then we killed him uh, but it wasn't really him it was like an illusion or something <clears throat> um, so now we've been uh, bequeathed Sid's airship so we can go to Palamecia which is accessible only by airship that seems like a good idea to them um, and yeah so now we're on the airship and we're going to fly over to Palamecia, which if I remember correctly is right here. Um, and we are going to hop into Palamecia and kill the Emperor, hopefully. So, there we go. Or bam. Oh. Actually, let me check really quick and make sure. I could probably stand to stock up on high potions first. Okay, new plan. I'm going to stock up on high potions first, and then we'll do that. Where's the closest? It's like straight across the way. It's in the city. Okay, so we're taking a, actually a quick detour to Mysidia, stocking up on potions, and then we're gonna go. And actually, Since this is the end of the game, I might as well blow all my money, right? There's no point in holding on to it. Alright. There we go. So I'm actually going to land outside and save just, just on the off chance um, that we come into a situation where I feel like we're kind of screwed over. Um, and... into Palamecia! Because there seems to be no way to get out of it. Um, okay. Cool. Let's see what things look like in here. Uh, lots of gatos. That's nothing too terrible. Killer Mantises and a Vampire Girl, also not to- oh, oh! <laughs> Ah, the old classic drop him down to floor one trick, Emperor, you are so clever. Some generals. They're definitely a lot more beefy. But I got a Rune Axe. That's cool. Phoenix down. Say goodbye to all of those high potions, Jesus. <laughs> oh well. Um, you, my friend. You can have that ogre killer and this rune axe, which, if I remember correctly, is. Whew, whoa. Uh, the strongest of axes. Um, actually, we should do this the other way around. There we go. Oh, and the diamond cuirass. I forgot about that. Okay, cool. Um, is this power sash better than what you have? Better than the 
nice armor? No. Okay. Oh god, this is one of those shitty damage rooms. Or, battle, infinite battle rooms. Uh, I amoebas! So no uh, new enemies so far, which is fine. Um, I'm okay with no new enemies. Oh! Skulls, I think those are new. Yeah, although they're an older enemy. Stronger version of the dead head. <laughs> Rank 6. Um, weakness to fire, even though there's fire coming out of their mouths. But that must be just because they're a undead type enemy. Stone Golem, that's a new guy. Goes down without too much trouble, though. Hourglass, which I think just puts haste on people, right? Or maybe puts slow on enemies? Stop. Use daggers. Moved on from that life. <sighs> oh, okay. Probably a potion or a healing dagger. Knowing this game, it probably is a potion. Oh, uh, you want potions in the end? Final uh, dungeon, right? That's still relevant. Cool. A buckler, which I believe is a really crappy shield. Yeah. Actually, worse than every other shield I picked up to this point. So, thanks for that. That looks like a door, but it isn't. <laughs> Confusing. This looks like a boss slash mini boss level. Oops. So oh, we're gonna be saving all of these on an alternate save just just to be safe. Big wide open space, no? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well that's a little bit surprising, but okay. Killed that motherfucker in one hit. Thunder Spear. But what? It's the Emperor. Well, it's an Imperial Shadow, I guess. That's kind of scary. I'm not sure what Curse does, but dodge that one. Curse? Ha! Oh god. 
That's amazing. Whoa. Yeah, fuck your shit up. Well, okay. Oh, shit. <sighs> Instant death spells. Oh, and I also didn't get anything for that. That's interesting. Let's take a quick peek at that. Imperial Shadow. Yeah. God, that sucks. You don't get any sort of magic. Or, er, uh, um, any sort of anything for killing him. I mean, I guess he is a boss. Or, uh, uh, not a boss, but a, uh, treasure chest defender. So you could argue that, like, your reward for killing him is the treasure that you pick up. But still, it seems more cheap. Stats are slightly better. Well, actually, significantly better than the Emperor clone that we fought. Oh, Black Knights! The original Black Knight. Drop some cool stuff. Stone Golems are also new to us. Pretty cool. Weak to poison. Oh shit, I should have the Elder card. I keep on forgetting I should be using my spells, so I level them up. Because I bet... Um, I bet by the end of this dungeon, if I just had... Uh, Maria focus on using my Ultima, she could probably level it up pretty, pretty quick. But I'm not going to do that, because that takes a lot of time, and it's boring. General, fuck your shit up. The cool item drops there. God, they're so strong. A little bit ridiculous. More rune axes and diamond gloves. Saint's Spirit. Maximizes the spirit. That's pretty worth it. That's a staircase up. Uh, you kind of want to explore this area a little bit. The monsters aren't terribly hard. Um, I'm still gaining stat increases off of killing them. Some of them drop some cool stuff. And, um, um, final dungeons always means the possibility of. Oh, getting my shit fucked really quick, I guess. Damn it. Um, uh, final bosses, or final dungeons always means the, uh, possibility of some really cool, uh, items. Endgame items, so.
Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll save here. Um, yeah. And hopefully not get killed by generals this time. Oh, or maybe I will. It's dragon armor and a dragon helm. Can anybody use that? Heck yes. Nice. Okay. Well, we're gonna give it to um guy. He's our tank. Inclined to say that he needs the attack, but five points doesn't seem like that much of a difference. So. Ah, it's turned Rickard into a frog. As powerful as those imps uh, confuse spell, uh, the Lamian's charm spell, which does essentially the same thing, seems to be like nearly ineffective. Like, I don't think I've ever been charmed by it, which is strange. It, it must use some sort of different algorithm or something. Or maybe those uh, imps that I was fighting just got a couple of really amazing casts off. Uh-oh, two stairways going up. I don't like that. Branching paths, making my journey more difficult. Damn, Furion, you just, like, shot up in a life total. Ridiculous. Sunblade. Ooh, corals. Jesus. And a boss. Fighting corals and a boss. That fucking blows. Well, luckily. Everyone can kill them in one hit. Oh, that one worked. Ouch. God, that rune axe really makes a big difference. Alright, well, that was a little bit scary, but not too terrible. And we got a sunblade out of it. Which is cool. Sun. Sweet! Even better than the defender. Okay. 
Oh, just a couple of regular Lamias. Nothing to worry about. Generals, however, still prove to be really ridiculously strong. That's more dragon armor. Nice. Well, Pretty dang close to the ninth floor where we started. <laughs> Death flowers mean nothing to me. A room full of elixirs? I'm not going to say no to that. This is obviously not the right branch to take. Why is his stuff going up so quick? Because his stamina is ridiculously high. Not even Guy has that high of a stamina. Oh, but you have pretty high stamina too. I suppose that's why you're catching up so quickly. Hmm. Curious. Curious. Okay, so I have to run back over to the other staircase and take that. Oh, fucking magic units. A couple of shitty magic guys with a general and a captain. <sighs> Another rune axe. Yes. Yes, please. Oh my god. This is gonna get ridiculous. Stone Golems and some Black Knights should be too hard. Diamond shield. Probably slap that on a guy. No, because it's exactly as good as the flame shield. So the flame shield reduces fire damage. The flame shield is better. some dragon armor. Gosh, I... I'm a little bit tempted to see if I can't just farm this out of those guys, but uh, it seems like mm, a little bit more work than it's worth. However, um, if you felt like you were particularly under gear in this section, it seems like that, that would be a uh, viable option for sort of beefing up your uh, equipment pretty quickly is just trying to farm those generals. Um, it would be risky though because of course as I, as I said it seems like there's no way out of here once you start getting in so um, you would have to be very careful with that. Okay. This is looking suspiciously like a final boss room. So, let's see how this goes. We're gonna high potion up. We're gonna ether up. And we are going to save.
and walk into a random battle. Don't worry, this shouldn't take too long. Oh, what? It's not the Emperor, it's the Black Knight. Oh, that was another big thing that we learned in the last episode, is that uh, Leon, who was our companion in the beginning of the game, um, is actually the Black Knight. Um, he's also Maria's brother. Dang it. I prematurely cured myself. Ether. What's up, Leon? Uh, well, I was kind of hoping we didn't have to. Maybe you'd give us a monologue or an explanation? <laughs> uh, okay. Power! Power rules everything! Typical bad guy response. Snap. <laughs> Not that it matters. Uh, I don't think he's going to give you a choice. Ye what? What are you doing, Ricard? Uh, it's true, though. I mean, like... Ricard, you aren't even really that great. I'm sorry. This game is still going on. This is ridiculous. Oh, snap. What? What the crap? <laughs> the castle turned into a cooler castle. Seriously. Risen from hell? That was the best they could come up with? Ugh. Leon wants ultimate power, so that makes sense. Let's look at Leon. He sucks! Not impressive at all. It's a sword and an axe, though. That's an interesting choice. Um, and he's left-handed again. He's the left-handed characters. Okay, 
Well, uh, I guess that's probably where I'll wrap the episode. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to do. Um, so, next time when we pick it up, we will probably go to uh, Palamecia Castle again to try and kill the Emperor again. Now that he's risen from hell, that's a thing, apparently. So, uh, we'll see you back here next time, and I'll have another episode for you.